All right, welcome back to my bedroom. I realize that this is the third video that I'm making. Hopefully I won't make a whole lot more, but uh, as you can see, the hole's gotten larger, more tiles have just popped off and cracked off, and you know, that's it, what can you do? These right here are still all gonna bust off. You can see this one's starting to crack already. So it's only a matter of time until that splits in half. The thing that I wanted to go over here was first of all, I think I found the initial, let's call it ground zero for the tile fiasco. This is the concrete. And as you can see, there's kind of a pit in the middle of the concrete. And another thing that's interesting to note is what comes out of this pit I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Concrete isn't exactly supposed to be sandy. I mean, we're talking pure, full on sand. Okay? So. That's not so good. And that's a problem that's endemic to a lot of buildings in Taiwan. I'll see if I can find the video to link it up. I'll put it in like one of the little box extension things up here and link you to it where a building in Taiwan fell into the into a canal during a typhoon a couple years ago. And the whole reason that it fell down was because it had too much sand in the concrete. It slowly eroded off from all the, the moisture off the typhoon and that was the end of that, Kaputnik. The other thing that I want to mention, for, for those who, who don't know anything about this stuff, um, most of us here in Taiwan, we live in apartments with tile. Tile is very popular here. It's easy to clean. It does make it sound like echo because the walls are concrete, right? And, you know, it's just the way it is. Tile and concrete, it's, you can hear. I'm, I'm echoing right now. Uh, sounds like I'm in a bathroom or something, but take note Sounds hollow right now a good tile oh No There we go That's a good tile that's solid right you can hear it Now hear this Eh That sounds okay. That ain't okay. You can already see it's coming off the edges. So it's, and this, when it's all the way off, real bad, okay? So you can really just walk around, hear that? That's solid. That's not solid. That's next to this one with a crack. And that's next, this is what? Three tiles away from that hole. So, big, big difference. That's how you can tell the difference. So anything that sounds hollow means that it's coming and popping off the floor. So we'll go to this side of my room where we'll, once again, solid, solid. Eh, uh-uh. See that? This is the coolest tile I've got because sounds real good until you get right there. That's not good. So it's already starting to split away under this tile and eventually something's gonna pop. So this whole crack line here is gonna pop. And anywhere where you see these little sticks of tape is other places in here where I've found tiles that are going to pop. I mean, it's really a question of when, not if. You know, all these tiles over here are gonna pop. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow. If the contractors say, oh no, it's fine, whatever, and they only replace, you know, from the tiles you basically see, basically they're gonna have to replace all these tiles, okay? 
because these are bad too, I can hear them. So we're gonna replace this whole section of the floor to get it right, and then that's half the damn room. I mean, the other half of the room, I've got these three that I know of, and I got these four that I know of. It's just a matter of time until the whole thing happens again. So it's not up to me, it's up to my landlady. I've told her about it, because that's the kind of tenant I am. I, I really like living here, and I really like her, so I don't want her to go and get screwed over and spend you know $500 to get a bunch of tiles replaced only in a year to have you know the other side of the room bust open so that's it little tutorial on how to find out whether or not your floor is going to do the same thing as what my floor did thanks for listening children